So this is the third and final Fifty Shades movie. It's so popular. Fans don't want it to end just yet. I know, I'm I sad. Care. Well, I wanted to ask you, would you be up for some sort of like spin-off or sequel? Oh my God, of course. I mean, if all you have to do is call me, I'll definitely be up for it. And love, love that being a part of it. It was such a fun experience. Um, but hopefully, schedule-wise, we can make it work. You know, you never know. We'll see what happens. What about a Mia spin-off? Fifty Shades of Mia Grey? Definitely, I'd love to do that. What do you imagine she could like get up to on her own? I think she would just basically like live life. You know, she came from a really kind of financially successful household, so I don't think she really had a lot of worries. She was definitely full of kind of like complaints. She was the one that got away with a lot of things. Maybe like Fifty Shades of Mia Grey, and it could be Rita Fifty starring Shades. in it. Yeah, you know what? That's much better than anything with just featuring Jack Hyde. Right. But, but obviously you have your big scenes. So yeah, could we could do that. It could be the whole spin-off of, of the whole kidnapping. Yeah. yeah. What it's do you just think, a dark thriller. What do you kind of imagine would happen in that? I'd probably uh, take her back to my secret lair, and then she would see all of my, uh, all of the, the Christian Grey dolls that I had made out of like straw and stuff like that, and then see which one she thought was good, and then I'd poke pins in them and hope he'd get like back pain or like some arthritis in his foot or something like that. He's not a very balanced human being, like he's got some issues. He's gonna have trouble using some of his Red Room equipment if he gets a bit of back pain. Yeah, <laughs> see that's the whole thing, right? Sabotage. I pitched the Mia Gray spin-off to Eric just now. Oh, that's... And he was like, yeah, it could be like a dark thriller yeah. when he kidnaps her. Eric comes back in as the villain, and like it's, that. It's literally just like a thriller, there's no... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> romance we, go, there. We, we turn into superheroes. And then we end up just beating everyone up. That'll that be would fun. be cool. Yeah. On a team? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you be up for a big superhero movie? Yeah, I'd love that. Definitely. I love love superhero movies. I don't know. It depends. You know, for me, when I've, I've had a lot of scripts been sent to me and things like that since, since starting, you know, acting. And, you know, it's always just about what fits for you. So you never know. Something else I really want to talk to you about, which is so far away from Fifty Shades. Is yeah. I'm so excited for Detective Pikachu. <laughs> oh my God, how funny. Yeah, it was. it's <laughs> it's amazing. I'm very excited too. Yeah, what are you most excited about for that? You know, I love, again, like I said, doing things that is unexpected. So when that happened and we filmed it, I was kind of like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to just, I guess, be a part of a real life Pokemon. It's like, what? It's crazy. I'm so happy. Were you a Pokemon fan before? Yes, definitely. My brother is seven years younger than me. He was all about it. Um, I definitely love the game as well. So I was happy to be a part of the movie. Rob Letterman, the director, um, is amazing, so yeah. I mean, it sounds bonkers in the best way. Yeah, it is, <laughs> and they shot it in in London. Do you have a favorite Pokemon? Yeah, there's one that dances it, that she basically fights with music. Because cool. you know there's like millions of Pokemons. <laughs> she like fights with like music notes. I don't know what her name is, but she's really lovely. 